Before I head back to the surface, let's try to find a few more diamonds. I feel like I've done pretty well for myself. Um, oh, we have diamonds. Wait a second, these diamonds look a little bit weird. Well, let's mine them anyway. Okay, we got one. It didn't turn into a diamond. It's called vibranium ore. Wait, it's actually vibranium, what? Today I found Vibranium and used it to create the Black Panther suit. Will I be able to pounce my way to victory and slice the Ender Dragon? Watch until the end to find out. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today's challenge is going to be to create the Black Panther suit of armor. It's gonna be quite difficult. If you guys are fans of Marvel and have seen the Black Panther movies or just any Avengers movie, you guys probably know that the Black Panther suit of armor is made out of Vibranium alloy. That is the same thing that Captain America's shield is made out of, so it is basically basically one of the most versatile, indestructible th th things in the entire world. So today I'm gonna have to find that and also somehow find the purple heart-shaped herb. But before that, I have to thank the sponsor of today's video, Filmora10. If you guys have ever wanted to become a YouTuber, you'll probably need to learn how to edit. In Filmora 10, they super easy to use editing software that's great for people just starting out or even experienced editors. It includes preset templates like effects, transitions, filters, and also royalty-free music. It's super easy to learn compared to some more advanced editing softwares, so you'll be able to edit your first video in no time. Filmora actually just released their newest update, version 10.5 that has auto reframing, AR stickers, audio effects, and an add-on AI portrait. Let me show you guys how it works. It's as easy as dragging and dropping your video clips onto the editing track. And then you can add on unique features like the AR stickers that will respond to your face. And you can add on some audio effects. Echo! I highly recommend you download Filmora 10 using my link in the description below to try it out for free. The free version does have a watermark when you render your videos, but they're running a sweet deal. If you comment what you think of the latest Filmora update using the hashtag CreateWithFilmora and tag me on Twitter, they'll actually pick out one lucky winner to get a one-year license for free. Be sure to do that after downloading Filmora 10 using my link in the description. It's basically this purple flower that spawns on top of Vibranium. And if I can find it, I can drink it in order to gain Black Panther's powers. I think there's a small chance that I could die once I take it, but it's worth the risk. Oh, we have a village! This is perfect. So there's a couple different ways to find Vibranium. It spawns deep in caves, or you can find it in crashed Cree ships. That's a kind of a tongue twister. This villager looks really scientific. He's got giant eyebrows. Oh no, those aren't- wait, are those eyebrows? No, those, that, that's just glasses. What does this man do? He's a spider scientist. Oh, I forgot. So inside of the uh, the Black Panther mod, there's actually a bunch of other superheroes that I could become. So if you guys do enjoy and do want to see a part two, be sure to smash like with your kneecap. Uh, I actually think I maybe found the spider laboratory. Luckily, there's no spiders in here that can turn me into Spider-Man. We also have an extractor, which I believe I can use to extract certain items to turn into certain superheroes. And we have this, the construction table. I actually, I think we might need to use this later. While we're here, we might as well stock up on all of our carbs. We'll grab all the bread that I can find. I guess carrots work too. I refuse to take any potatoes though. Potatoes are, no, no, potatoes are only good in the form of french fries or tater tots. I also don't really see why I would need beets. I'm not Dwight Schrute. Give me all the carbs. Wait a second, what's this? Do you know what this is? Wait a second, there's blue people. Are they friendly? This guy's looking at me like he's not friendly. He just stabbed the villager with his ax. Not friendly, not friendly. Okay, so I believe those are the Kree. They're from the Captain Marvel movie from what I remember and they are not friendly and they are also not from Avatar. But that does mean that that is a crash Kree ship and there's a chance that I can find the vibranium inside. I'm gonna need to get ready for combat. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the crafting bench. Plop that down. Get ourselves a couple more sticks. Plop the sticks in. And I guess we can get some stone tools to start. Found some stone. What? I was not expecting that. Oh, but we did find iron too. So I believe in order to get the Black Panther suit, we're going to need to combine vibranium with the black tri-polymer. And in order to create that, we're going to need tons and tons of iron. Before we do that, let's beep, bop, boop our way over to the crafting table. We can plop in the stocks and we can plop the cobblestone up top in order to upgrade the stone tools. And then we could use this in order to get the stone sword. Might as well also craft our carbs while we're here. So many carbs. It's actually only four carbs. Does anybody see the blue peoples? Hey, where'd the blue peoples go? I see the blue people. Hello, sir. Wait a second. They are terrorizing this entire village. They also have tons of health. Okay. All right. Ooh, wait. What did they just drop? Is that their flesh? It is. It's literally just their, their skin. I have skinned these peoples alive. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. 
That's right, Scrub. Well, in a future video, I can actually extract this and use it to create a Kree hybrid superpower. That sounds disgusting. I don't want to become blue. But since we cleared out the Kree ship, we should be able to mine down, and somewhere here, there should be chests with loot. There's a small chance that our vibranium could be down here. And if it is, we can use it in order to create the vibranium alloys, and we can also get the heart-shaped herb in order to drink the herb soup. You guys will see what I'm talking about very shortly. So far, I don't see anything. Let's try to mine out a little bit more. Oh, I see a chest. Wait, there's more. Oh, no way. Okay, so we have four chests in total. And here we have dwarf star meteors. And we also have a Kree battle axe that does seven attack damage. Sick. Okay, we also found ourselves some iron. Inside here, we have more iron. We have poop gold. And we have a Kryptonian fossil, which we could use to become Superman. Today is not about Superman, though. It is about Black Panther and Wakanda. And then, yes, let's go. Inside the final chest, we had all the vibranium. And we also have tons of iron. There's a blueprint for Captain Marvel's suit of armor. I guess I'll take that. But look at that. We found the vibranium, which I believe we can smelt down into vibranium ingots. But okay, before we do that, we're going to need to place it underneath grass blocks. You guys will see why in just a second. Also, while we're here, let's see. Can I bring one of these construction tables with me? Oh, I can. Let's go. See you later, villagers. See you later, spider scientists. I basically just stripped them of everything that I could need. But I did save them too, so it was fair. Okay, but here we have some grass. So what we're gonna need to do is dig underneath of it. So we'll go there, we'll go there, and we'll go there. I have seven in total. I think I actually maybe only need to do one. Okay, so because the vibranium is powering the grass block, it should eventually grow the heart-shaped herb. And then all I have to do is combine that together with a bowl in order to turn it to soup. And then once I drink this soup, I will morph into Black Panther. Let's make sure we're ready for that. So we're gonna go ahead and plop the plank, plank, plank into the four bowls and now we just wait two thousand years later finally yes we got it okay let's mine that up and now we can put the heart-shaped herb with the bowl to get the heart-shaped herb potion this is the moment of truth i could die or i could become the black panther if i become the black panther you guys must smash the subscribe button all right let's try it out in three two, one. Zombie, it has worked. We are now the protector of Wakanda. Unfortunately, I do not automatically get the Black Panther necklace, which turns into the Black Panther vibranium armor. I'll show you guys my abilities very shortly, but I am super powerful. I can also jump higher. I'm way faster. And I also get, what is that? Five extra hearts. Ooh, we have an Enderman. Hello, sir. I also get resistance too. Wait, wait, wait. I automatically just get armor. I didn't even notice that. I thought I maybe just like accidentally put on a piece of armor, but we just automatically get resistance. Little baby zombie, you just went up against the protector of Wakanda. There are so many fake Bessies. I can literally just one-shot them. You're mine. Your meats are mine. We're about to open a meat store. We're gonna call it Beck Bro Jack's Meats. This is the most satisfying thing ever. They, they literally just die. They, they just die immediately. I need to borrow a yellow bed. Does anybody have a yellow bed here? Sir? 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 What is happening? Hey, hey, back it up, back it up. Back it up. No, 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 no. What do you want? Who locked me out? I don't see any yellow beds in here. Wait a second. I just checked out my inventory. I was going to show you guys the Black Panther abilities, but we actually got the necessary instructions on how to create the Black Panther suit. So, okay, if I place down the construction table with these instructions, it should tell me what I have. So I currently have nothing. We need 14 of the black tripolymers and 15 of the vibranium plates. Vibranium plate. Oh, okay. We need a hammer. That's not super difficult to get, but we're going to need two vibranium ingots per plate. So we need 30 ingots in total. This could take a while. But you, you get out of here. We did drop an iron piece. And then in order to get the black reinforced tripolymer, we need iron plates, ink sacks, and leather. We only need 14 of those. So we're going to need like 40 pieces of of iron. Let's get busy. We're gonna go ahead and grab as much coal as we can carry. And next up, we need to load up on as much iron as we can get. We should probably start smelting the iron that we have. Let's craft a furnace, plop that down, place the iron and also the coal. And we should probably make another furnace for our vibranium. While we're down here, we're also going to need to get our hands on some diamonds. While we're down here, we're also going to need to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe, if we can find any. Vibranium is obviously one of the most difficult to find and also just the hardest resources in the entire world. So the only thing powerful enough to mine it is diamonds. Yes, we found some. There's one diamond. Okay, there's going to be at least three. And there's also another piece of ore next to it. This is called palladium. 
Palladium Palladium. But now we can use this in order to create ourselves the diamond pickaxe. We also have six vibranium ingots. Let's grab a couple more sticks. And then I think we can use the iron that we have in order to make ourselves the hammer. I put the hammer in the corner and then we can split these in half in order to make three vibranium plates. Now we only need 12 more. We have the last piece of iron. We only need 10 more. Let's go find that and also some more vibranium so then we can craft the Black Panther suit of armor. Oh, we found some. Oh, there's a couple more, but the creepers are guarding it. You really want to face Black Panther? Wait a second, if I jump and hit, I'm pretty sure it's basically a one-hit KO. Wait a second, bro, there's so much here. We also found the last of the iron that we'll need in order to create all of the reinforced black tripolymers. What's this green block? Oh, it's uranium. Okay, I, I probably, yeah, I'm not gonna hold that. Let's grab this vibranium and also this vibranium. Why would you look at that? There's even more vibranium. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that should be enough. Now let's smelt all of the iron and also the vibranium. Yes, they're all done. We have 12 here, 11 here, 12 here or two, and two here. Now let's see what happens when I put them in here with the iron hammer. We have 16 in total and one vibranium ingot left over. So now we have one of the requirements and the only other thing we need is ink sacks and also a lot more iron plates. That should do the trick. No squids are safe from Beck Pro Panther. Give me your ink sacks. Oh, I got two ink sacks or three ink sacks. Thank you very much, squid. You're mine, squid. <laughs> Wait, it's just a one hit KO. How many is that? Okay, we need 14 in total. Oh, you're trying to escape, young squid. So young, so squiddy, so ignorant. You are now mine. Eight insects. There are so many squids out in the distance for the taking. Oh my gosh, it's legit just a squid frenzy. So I think the only thing that I need these squids for is to make the Black Panther suit actually black. Because if I made it without any of the insects, it would literally just look like the vibranium plates. Which, don't get me wrong, that would actually look kind of sick. But okay, we have 16 in total, and now I think I actually just need one more piece of leather. Fake Bessies, here we come. Target spotted. Target acquired. Target annihilated. It didn't drop the leather. Boys, mission failed. M mission, mission failed again. Yes, mission success. Can't wait for you guys. I'm literally about to blow you guys all up with the vibranium Black Panther suit of armor after I'm done eating my carrots. All right, so we put down the construction table. We put in this, and now we should have every... Oh, I forgot to craft the flipping tripolymers. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, dude, 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 dude. Dude. Okay, so we put in the iron plates, we put in the leather, and then we put in the ink sacks to get the black reinforced tripolymer. And now is the moment of truth. We get the Black Panther suit. This thing is so cool. So you place it on and it's a necklace. And I'm sure if you guys have seen this mod before, you know that when I hit X, the entire suit expands all around my body. And now mobs do no damage. Okay, so if you guys can see in the top left hand of the screen, I can turn it off using X, but I can actually absorb all kinetic energy and then I can just explode. And when it is maxed out, every mob around me just dies. Why is this? The zombie's literally trying to give me a kiss. No, stop. Stop with the weird stuff. It is officially time to try this out on the Ender Dragon. Before we do that, I completely forgot I added in custom bosses. Let's see if the giant upgraded Ferris Rotnod is able to damage Black Panther. I just did half a heart. I did half a heart too. And as you can see, I am slowly gaining purpleness. The purpleness allows me to explode. I don't think the Ferris Rod Knot will be affected, so I'm actually gonna save it. But luckily, I also have an iron sword, so next time this dude smashes, we're gonna see just how much damage Black Panther does. Oh my gosh! This dude is overpowered! Hold on, man, I gotta eat my carrots. Time out, I'm eating my, eat my carrots. Would you please chill them? Trying to eat my carrots. All right. Well, he just doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. He just doesn't understand. He's gonna die. Wait, 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 wait. Why did that not work? Hit me again. 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 Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, he just hit him again with the eggs. Oh, this is it. Hey, yo, chill. Yes! Black Panther made that look so easy. I also just realized too, we get his stuff. I can't even place it on. So that is the only caveat about the Black Panther suit is you can't place anything else on. It doesn't really matter though because you don't take any damage. But we also got this man's ginormous ax. Let's go use it to smash the Ender Dragon. Uh Well, that 
wasn't so difficult. The Ender Dragon has no idea what's about to happen. If I look at an Enderman, okay, I was gonna say, I have a mask on, so I wasn't sure if it still got angry with me, but it does, it does. I probably should remember that from earlier. Let's grab our bow. We'll take care of all the end crystals. I'm curious what happens if I just punch this thing. <laughs> I take no knockback. We destroyed them all. Now let's see how much damage we do. Oh, yes. And we take no damage. Let's try to use our explosion of kinetic energy. It, dude, it pushed the Ender Dragon off. I thought it was going to do a little bit more damage, honestly. But we almost just did half of its health. This isn't even fair. Mrs. Ender Dragon, you have met the Black Panther. Wakanda has taken over the end dimension. That's right, come on back down. We're gonna use this ginormous axe to bash your face in. Oh my gosh! This is amazing! If only I had some yellow beds, I could just explode them and I could absorb all of the energy from the explosion. Let's go fart on this Enderman. <laughs> it does do damage. This is it! The Ender Dragon will go down! Yes! Come on! We're so close! No! Get back here, you coward! The Ender Dragon, if it, if it actually could like think thoughts, it's probably thinking, why can't I move this black beast? Anything that always goes up to the Ender Dragon just gets yeeted back. But we are uneatable, and we also will kill the Ender Dragon as Black Panther. Guys, if there's any other superheroes you want to see me beat Minecraft as next, smash like with your knee and comment down below. Wakanda forever! Don't forget to download Filmora 10 using my link in the description.